Good morning, ladies. This is Margaret Soli, and I'm coming to you today because I've been asked to show you guys how I made these bottle cap bird cages. Um, and so I'm going to do a, my very first tutorial and show you guys how to make them. Um, they're very easy. You guys will be so surprised. So let me set the video camera down, get you guys set, and um, we will get started. Oh, let me show you first what we need. That'll help out. Okay, so these are the items on the table here that you're going to need. You're going to need a paintbrush. You're going to need a hot glue gun. Um, some glue sticks. You're going to need a hole punch. And if you guys can see, this is a bottle cap hole punch. And they're typically sold where you find the bottle cap embellishments. Okay, so you're going to need a hole punch. You're going to need a pair of pliers. These just happen to be bent neck pliers. You don't have to have the bent necked ones, just regular needle nose pliers will work. You're going to need a pair of wire cutters. And these are just uh, snub nose wire cutters. Um, you're going to need some 24 gauge floral wire. Okay, and you can find that in the floral section of your um, hobby store. A pair of scissors. Try not to make you guys too drunk here. You're going to need a hole punch. Um, this one, um, I can't tell you what size it is. It's just a uh, round scalloped hole punch. Um, I do know they sell them uh, with the bottle cap embellishments that will fit inside the bottle caps. You're going to need some stuff to decorate the inside of the cage with. So I've got some ribbon, some birds, and some uh, moss. Um, you can get the moss at the dollar store, I believe. So look for it there. Okay. Um, of course, you're going to need some bottle caps. Okay, can you tell I drink Angry Orchard? <laughs> um, you're going to need some white sand. And it's just um, plain white sand you get. I got this bottle at the dollar store. Um, I broke the bottle, so it's not in its original container. But it's just white sand from the dollar store that they use in the floral department. Um, and then you're going to need gesso. And you're going to need a container to mix the gesso in. And if you'd like to make some little birds, you can use the Martha Stewart bird mold. And I use um, the cold porcelain clay to do that, and I'll show you if we have time. So let me set you guys down, and we will get started here. Okay, this is my first tutorial, so hopefully I don't make you guys too drunk. Okay, I'm going to move some stuff out of the way here, so we have a little bit of room. Okay, first things first is you need to take your bottle caps, and this is what the bottle caps look like, of course, you guys know that, and you're going to take your hole punch, and you're going to punch holes. So I like to do mine from the inside, so see the tooth there? I put that on the inside of my bottle cap, and I punch my holes. Um, you're going to punch one hole. I'm trying to keep my hands out of the way. Um, you're going to punch one hole, and then you're going to go, I'll show you from the top side, you're going to go straight across from it, and you're going to punch another hole. Um, and then you're going to do this kind of like a pie. You're going to shift it, and you're going to do a hole down here. And then you're going to spin it all the way around. See where that hole is? We're going to go directly across from it. And we're going to punch a hole down here. And then in between each one of these holes, so between these holes, I want to put another hole. Okay? So we're going to go in between the holes and we're going to punch another hole. All together, you will punch eight holes. And you're just basically punching them in between that first initial pie shape. 
to where you have eight holes to be able to run your wires through. Okay, so I just went all the way around and punched all my holes. And I don't know if you guys can see them or not, there's holes all the way around the edge. Okay, so then you're going to take your floral wire and your wire cutters and you're going to cut four pieces of wire about eight to ten inches long. Okay, um, I don't measure, I just kind of guesstimate. So um, when I measured one the other day, they were about um, eight to ten inches. So we've cut our four pieces of wire. We're going to take one piece of wire and you're going to horseshoe it like that. Can you guys see that? Then you're going to take your bottle cap and you're going to stick the tips of your horseshoe from the inside of the cap into our holes and run them to the outside. I want to make sure I'm lined up across from each other here. You're going to run them to the outside. Okay. So it'll pull up like that. Okay, and you don't have to really worry, make sure they're exactly the same length or anything like that, just as long as they're fairly close. I always put my thumb on the inside to hold them into place while I'm kind of pulling on them to straighten them out. Okay, do the same thing with the other three wires. Go from the inside to the outside, across from each other. So see how it's across from each other? And that's what you're going to do until you get all four of your wires into place. Okay. I'm going to hurriedly do this. You guys, they'll, they get to where they're really fast to make. You guys will be surprised how quick and easy they are. They're great to give away. Um, I did a bird cage, cage kit for Lisa, and um, she was just thrilled. And then she found the bird cage that I actually sent her, and that even tickled her even more. So, and then um, my last wire, as you can see, I've got my wires crisscrossed inside there. I'm going from one side to the other side. And you'll end up with it looking like this when you're done. I take my thumb and push them down inside there. Okay, so they're pushed down. And then I also take a hold of it and just kind of pull on them and pull them down like this. It looks funny right now, but don't worry about that because what we're going to do right this second is we're pinching them out of the way and we're going to make a bowl there and you're going to take your glue gun and you're going to flood those wires with hot glue. Okay, ladies, this um, bottle cap gets extremely hot. So please use caution here so you do not burn yourself. That's why I'm holding the wire and not the lid because it gets so warm. Now I like to flood mine, you guys, until um, it is pretty much level in the bottom of the cap. I know that sounds like a lot of, of glue, but you'll understand here um, later on. Okay, so I take them after I've flooded them, because like I told you guys, I do a bunch of them at one time. I take them and I just put them in my sand and let them sit there to where they um, will dry. So this one I flooded earlier, so you guys will see. This is what we have. Okay. So now you're going to take, now that the glue is set up, you're going to take your fingers and you're going to pull each one of your wires out and you're going to kind of warm them. Um, metal, when it gets warmed, it softens. And that's kind of what we want to do is we kind of want to warm them and bring them all out to this shape. Okay, so we're, we're going to bring them all out. And you'll kind of look like you have this upside down spider here. <laughs> or one of those things to do a head massage with. I don't know if you guys remember that years ago. <laughs> um, so you end up with this look. Okay, after you've warmed each one, they kind of curl up on the ends, which is fine. So um, what you're going to do now is you're going to take this wire and find its mate. So I found its mate across from it. And you're going to kind of lay them across each other like that. Okay, and you're just going to do this with every one. You're going to find their mates and lay them across from each other. 
so they kind of do this crisscross in the middle. Okay, um, and eventually you'll have them all done to where they look kind of like this, where you've crisscrossed them across. Okay, I'm going to set it down here so you guys can see. Then you're going to take your wire, so this one is crisscrossed across to its mate. I'm going to take it and I'm going to bend over to the top of everybody else, tuck it back in, put my thumb on the top, and kind of push that wire back onto itself, back to its, its original starting point. Okay, and that kind of locks it. If you guys see, it kind of locked it there. And then I bring it all the way through and bring it back up top. Okay, and so one more time, we're going to take this wire, we're going to cross it across the pile, bring it back to itself, see itself right here, and bring it back up into the air. And it just crisscrosses or locks itself across the pile. You're going to do that with every one of them. And so I'm going to do it fairly quickly here, but you guys kind of see how it, it gets secured. So this wire back across the pile. I go on this side. Back across the pile. My big hand's in your way and lock it back onto itself. So it kind of makes a loop up there if you guys can see. That's a loop. Okay. And lock it back up on itself. I bring them straight up once I've locked them. So see these ones aren't locked because they're still sticking out. And you can also tell because look when I move it, it's not locked. So we're going to lock it back onto itself. Push it through. And this is probably the hardest part to this, you guys. And it's really not hard. Once you guys get the make of it, it you, it comes right to you. And you get it. And it doesn't really matter if it's not exactly how I'm doing it. As long as you secure these wires so they don't move, you've got it. Okay. Bring it back across to itself. Bring it up. Back across to itself. I'm going to speed up here because I this is a take two on this video. I talk too much back and cross across itself and I've got one